your wife should influence you. My name is Olushe Gumokolo. I've had people say that don't allow your wife to influence you. And I'm just wondering, why is she your wife then? The Bible says that it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make for him a help meet for him, a help suitable for him, a help customized for him. If your wife is your help, why should she not have influence over you? It is satanic for anybody to be saying to you that your wife should not have influence over you. She should have influence. That woman is a help in your life. But you see, when we say help, it's not by muzzle. It's not that the woman has to come with something. When, when God created the woman, she was naked. She had nothing in her hand. She came with nothing. She came empty. But the help of God was deposited in her. I'm telling you, the help that God put in a woman for a man is, is a mystery. It's not something you see on the surface. The way to unlock it is to love that woman as Christ loved the church. A man that loves his wife as Christ loved the church, loves himself. That's a wise man. That's a man that is unlocking what God has deposited in his wife. So she should have influence in you. We are not by this saying that, oh, you should just listen to your wife and be taking orders from your wife. That's not what we are saying. Sarah, uh, Abraham at a point, uh, listened to Sarah. God said, because thou hast hearkened to the voice of thy wife, uh, Sarah. At that point, you should not have listened to Sarah. When Sarah said that uh, he should just go into his uh, slave girl. And he also did. He should not have hearkened to the voice of his wife, Sarah, at that point. Because he was violating marriage covenant. But there was a time when Sarah told Abraham, said, send the son of the bond woman away. Abraham didn't want to do that. God came and said, hacking to the voice of your wife. Can you imagine? God was saying, hacking to the voice of your wife. That means that it is me, God, speaking to the, through your wife. God, see, don't ever look at your wife and say she's, she's stupid, she's a non-entity, she can't do anything. There's no woman that is useless because God created her. Just imagine if God created animals and they are useful, how much more a human being? And you are saying your wife is useless. There's no woman. There's, there's no woman. It is you that is blind that you cannot see the help that God has deposited in that woman. Because you think that it is by muscle, it is by degree. You are asking what did she bring to the table? She brings the help of God, which is inside of her. You don't even know it. Some of you don't know the reason why you will live long is because of the woman that you marry. You don't know. You think that it is, it is what is she contributing? She's not working. Oh, you don't understand. The kind of food she's feeding you may be the reason why you are healthy and alive. Other women you are you are eyeing outside, they will have given you something that one day may have led you to cancer. You just can't, you, you, you don't understand. That woman is a help from God. God made somebody a help. You said that person is useless. Do you know that you are simply saying God does not know what he's doing? May God forgive you. And I pray that you will ask for forgive, forgiveness. Your wife should influence you. She's your help. She's the help made for you. I am Olusha Gumokolo. God bless you.